Welcome to your practice. Come to a kneeling, wide-legged child's pose in the center of the mat. Reach the hips toward the heels, knees as wide as the mat, and arms reaching forward through the fingertips. Feel the symbolic third eye connecting through the mat to the earth, to the deeper wisdom. Breathe deeply in and out through the nose. Feel the belly rise and fall. to bring the chin and chest to the mat, connecting through the heart. When you're ready, come to all fours. Cat and cow. Inhale as we open the chest. Exhale as we look to the belly. Inhale, lift the tailbone, the shoulder blades together. Exhale, separate the shoulder blades. Then take the hips from side to side, toward the, the same shoulder, just loosening up through the hips. Now take the hands as wide as the mat, fingertips facing in. Drop the right shoulder and then rotate in one direction incorporating the shoulders, head, neck, spine and hips. After three rotations, drop the left shoulder and then rotate in the other direction. Again, an organic rotation, loosening up through the spine. When you're ready, press back to downward dog. Walk the dog, one heel reaches toward the mat and the other knee bends, warming up through the calves, the ankles. Hollow the belly and reach the sitting bones up toward the sky. Come up on both toes, inhale, and then reach both heels toward the mat. The knees are soft. Press through the palms and allow the head to hang down. Shoulders away from the ears. When you're ready, step the left foot to the center of the mat and extend the right leg up. Come up on the left toes and draw that right knee into the chest. Light as a feather, step through between the hands. Adjust to drop the hip at the back. Place the left palm on the mat and extend the right arm up to the sky. Take a deep breath in, open heart. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, extend the left arm up to the sky. Feel the side stretch. Come back to center. Find your balance and come to high lunge. Drop into the hip at the back, reach the arms up, and then take prayer behind the head, shoulder stretch. Inhale up, exhale to prayer at the heart center, and then either the left elbow or hand on the outside of that right knee. Either stay or extend the arms, spreading your wings. Option to take the top arm behind the back, Option to take a bind, release, frame the foot in front and step back to downward dog, reset your downward dog, hollow belly, reaching the hips up to the sky, when you're ready step the right foot to the center, extend the left leg up to the sky, come up on the right toes and then draw that left knee into the chest and lightly step through between the hands, drop the hip at the back, Place the right palm on the mat and extend the left arm up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hand comes back down. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Feel that lateral stretch. And then exhale, frame the foot in front. Find your balance and come to high lunge. Reach both arms up. Take a deep breath in. Take a prayer behind the head. Exhale. Inhale, reach the arms up 
and exhale to prayer twisting either right hand or right elbow on the outside of the left knee option to extend the arms option to take the top arm behind the back and or take a bind breathe deeply rotate from the navel center release frame the foot in front and step back to downward dog press through the palms press through the heels knees are soft bring the right knee toward the right wrist coming to pigeon option to flex the knee at the back to make more space for the hips or to place a blanket or block under the right thigh either stay up or bring the elbows forward and relax forward and down with the upper body perhaps reaching the left elbow a little further forward feel the opening in the outer right hip either stay relaxed and breathing deeply in your pigeon or if you'd like to take it further come up onto the hands reach back with the left hand toward that left foot either taking hold of the foot or a strap or wrapping the elbow around the foot and reaching the right arm up to take hold of the left hand Feel the opening and release in the left hip flexor and quadricep. Gently release from wherever you are and bring the back leg around. Option to extend the right leg or keep it flexed. Place the left arm as a second spine, reach the right arm up, take a deep breath in and gently rotate either with the right hand or elbow on the outside of the knee. Option to take a wrap. As we take a gentle rotation, reach the crown of the head to the sky, hollow the belly and rotate from the waist, shoulders down. Gently release and come to face front. Come to either cross-legged or soles of the feet together or knee on top of knee with the left leg on top. Remove the fleshy parts of the buttock so you can sit up nice and tall. Take the left arm behind the back or either just take the right arm up coming to a tricep stretch or link the hands or take hold of a strap. A variation of cow face pose. On the next exhale either stay up or come forward feeling a release in the outer hips. Gently release the arms and legs. We bring the hands down to the mat, cross the ankles and roll over onto our hands and knees and back to downward dog. Reset your dog, breathing deeply. On the next exhale, bring the left knee toward the left wrist. Coming back to pigeon with an option to flex the right knee, make a little more space for the hips or place a block or blanket under the left thigh. Either stay up or come onto the elbows and rest the forehead down onto the hands or a block, potentially bringing that right elbow a bit further forward to deepen the stretch. Relax and breathe deeply and evenly as we fold in on ourselves. Either stay in this position or if you'd like to take it a little further, come up onto the hands. We'll reach back as we flex the right knee to take hold of the right foot with the right hand or wrap the elbow around the foot and link the hands above the head. Feel a deep stretch in the right hip flexor and quadricep. Gently release the arms and legs from wherever you are and swing the back leg toward the front. An option to extend that left leg forward or keep it flexed. Coming to a little twist, make a second spine with the right arm. Reach the left up, inhale and exhale, rotate. Either simply holding that thigh with the hand or placing the elbow on the outside of the knee or taking a bind. Hollow the belly, narrow the waist as we rotate from the waist lift the crown of the head up to the sky and drop the shoulders down rotate gently
release the hands and the legs we come to either cross-legged or soles of the feet together or right knee on top of left so either again just a tricep stretch or we take the right arm behind the back we can hold a strap or link the hands coming to modified or full cow face pose on the next exhale either stay upright or fold forward over the hips feel a lovely opening in the outer hips and glutes gently release out of the posture we bring the hands behind the back the feet to the mat turn the fingertips backward and lift up into reverse tabletop opening the front of the hips drop the hips back to the mat turn the fingertips forward and bring the hips to the center of the mat lie down the knees are flexed palms down besides the hips bring the heels underneath the knees feet hip width apart bridge pose slowly curl the tailbone and the invertebra by vertebra the spine off the mat bring the shoulder blades together bring the hands together keep lifting the hips relax the back of the neck and the shoulders press through the big toes press through the heels then gently release the hands the shoulders and peel the spine back onto the mat once the tailbone reaches the mat curl it back up for a second bridge alternatively place a block under the sacrum and simply relax in a modified bridge breathe deeply slowly peel the spine back down onto the mat either stay on your block or bring the heels a little closer option to take a full wheel with the fingertips facing inward toward the shoulders and very gently lift the spine off the mat pressing the upper body between the arms lifting strongly out of the shoulders out of the palms coming down tuck the chin into the chest and very gently curl the back of the head and then the spine onto the mat bring the hands beside the body palms down take the feet as wide as the mat and drop the knees together giving a little time for the spine to get used to being back in neutral now bring the soles of the feet together and allow the knees to drop open recline butterfly bring the knees back together and hug the knees into the chest give yourself a nice big hug feel the rounding of the spine then take a circle in one direction massaging the lower back and then in the other direction and perhaps a little rock side to side place the left foot on the mat and the right ankle above the left knee either just press the thigh away or wrap the hands behind the left thigh or in front of the left shin reclined pigeon flex the feet feel the release in the outer right hip release the arms left foot on the mat and slide the right leg over the left release both knees over toward the left extend the right arm to the right and turn the head to the right be gentle with the spinal rotation option to wrap the right foot behind the left calf come back to center place the right foot on the mat and the left ankle above the right knee either just press the thigh away or wrap the hands behind the right thigh or in front of the right shin for reclined pigeon flex the feet and feel the release in the outer hip release the hands place the foot back on the mat if it's not there already and drape the left leg over the right both knees drop over toward the right left arm to the left 
gently turning the head to the left and an option to drape the left foot behind the right calf. Come back to center, unravel, bring the knees together and into the chest for a hug. And then we take happy baby. Taking hold of the outsides of the feet, bring the knees toward the armpits. Rock your happy baby side to side. Feel the tailbone. Option to extend the legs a little or a lot. Then bring the legs together. Place the arms down on the mat, palms down. Extend the legs up to the sky. Point the feet, flex the toes and use core strength to slowly bring the legs back down onto the mat. Option to bend the knees at any point. Extend the arms above the head, reach from the toes to the fingertips, give yourself a big stretch and then come to corpse pose. Fingertips naturally curl into the palms. Allow the feet to flop open. The arms and the legs are heavy. Breathe deeply and evenly. Scan the mind's eye through the body and find any spots of tension. Gently unravel. Relax the muscles in the face. Release the jaw. Soften the shoulders. Allow the hips to drop open. When you're ready, flex the knees. Bring the knees into the chest and gently either roll to the side or rock up any comfortable seated position. Feel the sitting bones, the lower body anchored to the earth. Feel the spine and the crown of the head lifted to the heavens. Sit quietly, breathe deeply. Bring the hands to prayer at the heart center. Drop the chin to the chest. Bow forward with gratitude and humility. Namaste.